It's Adam with Productivity Academy. And if you're looking to grayscale your Chromebook, I've got something that might be the best fit for you. This is something I was looking for, uh, for work on my Chromebook, of course. And I've got another video that I'll mention later on too. Um, if you're looking for help with your Android and grayscaling that, your Android device. Uh, but with this, this is really helpful, of course, if you want to you know, take away from being distracted and you really wanna focus. Um, you know, I mentioned it later on, you know, where this can come in handy, but I want to get you the information um, up front. Uh, I'll, disclaimer up front, this isn't going to completely remove all color. Um, I haven't found a way to do that, but it is based on the browser. And so your browser window, um, the actual active window uh, will be grayscaled. So I think that this is really helpful. It's something I'm going to be putting into use with my Chromebook. Um, so without uh, further ado, let's get into it. All right, so let's get into it and take a look at this. So as you can see on my screen already, um, I have got uh, an extension installed that is already gray scaling. Um, but you can see, you know, it's not changing the browser tab uh, headings and it's not going to do anything to uh, the background. But as you know, using your Chromebook, you're gonna be spending most of your time, I would assume in the browser, um, or at least a lot of time in the browser doing web-based activities. Um, so that's where we're gonna go with this. So um, let's take a look at some other areas. Okay, this is nice. Uh, we've got uh, YouTube and it is in fact grayscale. So let's just, uh, let's see, 14 must have Chrome extensions. It looks like, okay, there we go. We've got it playing in grayscale. I'm gonna pause that. Uh, let's go over. We've got a Reddit tab open, uh, trail running pictures. Okay, we've got everything in grayscale. Looks pretty good. Uh, one thing I have noticed is opening a new tab. Um, if it's just a blank tab, that it shows what the color. As soon as we go to Google, it goes grayscale. Um, so that's pretty good. So overall, pretty happy with this. Um, I think this is pretty simple. So uh, let's see, the name of this, or what you can search for is grayscale, the web, save sites, and go in, and it is just a Chrome extension, which interestingly, this page, and I think the Chrome web store isn't, um, it doesn't work on that. So for whatever reason, but I mean, to me, not a big deal. So some of the really cool things about this that I like, uh, you can see it right here, or I could click on this and you can see it. You can turn this on for all sites or just for this tab. So that's kind of neat if you're just, you know, saying, oh, okay, maybe you don't want it on all the time. Uh, maybe when you sit down to work or you're doing some reading or whatever else you might be doing, uh, you could just do it or you can just... Um, uh, have uh, saved or excluded sites. You know, if you're like, oh, whenever I go to YouTube, maybe you actually do want to be able to see the color uh, for whatever reason, then you could exclude YouTube uh, domain. And so everything there shows up. So uh, kind of helpful, really neat, um, very simple. Uh, as soon as you installed, you do need to refresh, you know, any tabs you have open to get it to work. Uh, but that was it. So for myself, I think that this is uh, helpful. I like having it on my phone, which um, I'll link to the video uh, about how to do this on your Android phone. Um, it's built in, pretty simple to do. It's just not obvious if you're not looking for it. Uh, but this can be really helpful as far as focusing. Maybe you're trying to write, you're doing some research, whatever it is you might be doing with your Chromebook, uh, but you don't wanna be distracted by the bright colors. Maybe you're sensitive to certain colors or amount of light. This can be uh, really helpful though for keeping you focused and not distracted. You know, if you have to go on to things, maybe uh, like YouTube, you're doing uh, some things on YouTube or you need to watch a video. Uh, perhaps you need to use Facebook for work, uh, for whatever it is. A lot of these sites are designed, right, to really grab your attention and to keep it and to keep you interested. Um, and so having this grayscale option on Chrome uh, or at least on the browser is really helpful. Uh, so this, of course, can work on any Chrome browser. You can install this in different areas. Uh, so you could have a Windows computer running Chrome and you can install this Chrome extension. Um, so really helpful uh, if you want to use this elsewhere. But right now for uh, a Chrome based computer, uh, this is something that can be really handy. Again, since you're doing most of your work, most likely uh, from the browser, I think this takes care of a lot of um, the areas where you might be wanting to use grayscale. So if you have uh, additional comments, questions, um, or you know of a way to completely grayscale a uh, Chromebook, let me know. But otherwise, I think that this is a great start um, and a great way to use it. So hopefully you get uh, some good use out of this.